Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic, and more importantly, welcome aboard the Viking Power. Now, if you missed the last episode, the Scallop DLC came out recently, and I did check out the first two boats in that DLC. This is the biggest Scallop boat, which I just bought now, and we're going to be checking out this massive beast today and hopefully finding those elusive scallops. As I said, it's called the Viking Power. Now, we're going to need a little bit of magic power to find those scallops because if you missed the first episode, it was pretty rough. But I just had a delicious bowl of this video's sponsor, Magic Spoon. So we got the magic that we need to find these guys. Surprise, it's a cereal ad. So yes, this is Magic Spoon. This is one of their many flavors. This is peanut butter, it's my personal favorite. And essentially what Magic Spoon is, is children's cereal for adults. It's healthy, but it tastes extremely sweet. Well, not so much this one, but for example, one of their most popular ones, Fruity. Um, and you're gonna get a lot of sweetness with this. But as you can see, they gladly show their nutritional value. Zero grams of sugar, four net carbs, 13 grams of protein in every serving. And with Fruity, it's only 150 calories per serving. Not a fan of these flavors? Well, they have more, of course. Here's their top four. You can actually buy these in a bundle. They have Frosted as well. I have to say, I, I love the packaging. We have Coco, another one of my favorites. You can actually buy these two together. And then they have weird flavors, like I have Maple Waffle here. I actually eat this without being sponsored by it, by the way. I've been eating this for months now. So when they came to me, I thought it was the perfect opportunity because I love showing you guys things that I actually use. So yeah, if you don't know a little bit of my history, at my worst, I was 320 20 pounds. I'm now around 220 after, you know, a couple years of hard work. As well as better nutritional options like this one, it's really helped me out. So yeah, as I said, I absolutely love this cereal. It tastes really good. It's extremely crunchy and somehow they don't have any sugar in it. And if you try any of the sugary ones, you'll be blown away by that statement. It's also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and of course low carb as well. Now, if you do decide to try out this cereal as well, just know that Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that they have a 100% happiness guarantee. Basically, if you don't like it for whatever reason, no questions asked, they'll refund you 100% of your purchase. And if you do want to try it out, well, I have the code for you. If you use code DRE at checkout or go to magicspoon.com forward slash DRE, you can get $5 off your first order. Now, I suggest you do buy the four pack of their most popular flavors because they are all fantastic. And yeah, it's just going to give you all their most popular flavors and then you can rebuy whatever one that you prefer. So yeah, be sure to use code DRE and thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back to it. Thanks Magic Spoon once again for sponsoring this video. Hopefully it's what we need to get these scallops. So let's get out there and finally get on these guys. I did do a little bit of fishing off recording and I got a hell of a lot more lucky. So uh, I did look into it too. Uh, scallops are around all year. So there is no season where they're going to be really lucrative. So hopefully we can find them. Actually, before we go out, we should probably try and get some new intel. Well, we visited all the ports. No intel on the scallops, but I just want to know what the hell is this guy doing? All right, you know what? I might just give up here. It's been about three weeks of me going between ports. Ingles Head, you are my last chance. We might just use my old intel. Mind you, it's real old now because I skipped at least two or three weeks. I just, I cannot find any intel. It's always this. It's always lobster and freaking redfish. So I think I'm just going to go out there and see what happens. Maybe we'll get really lucky not using intel. Because yeah, at this point, I'm just spending so much on fuel and, and repairs that it's, it's stupid. I probably spent twenty five to 30000 just going between ports. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably upgrade my boat. You know, this is going to be a good boat. So we're going to put everything we can in here. We'll never fill this thing, but why, why not add it just because we can? Mind you, that's a freaking expensive upgrade. But hey, I have money. By the way, to earn this money... I sold my North Atlantic, which was my snow crab boat, just because I don't really like snow crab in this game. So if you're wondering where I magically got this money, that's where. My God, it is it is pitch black out. I turned my lights on thinking I, it's just it would be bright. I cannot see a damn thing. You know what? I think we'll just wait till daytime. Let's actually skip time right now because we never actually checked out this boat. Welcome, though. Oh, my God. This thing looks fantastic. I have my Spider-Man theme seat here that fits nothing else, of course. What the hell? Why is that seat Spider-Man theme? So we got our nets over there. It looks like it's still a double net. Unfortunately, I don't think the nets are any bigger either. So I'm assuming with this purchase, all I'm really buying is more storage space. 
Uh, because it's not like we're throwing out four nets in instead of two. All right, just looking at the deck, though. Dude, I would love to work on this boat. It looks very clean. I like that there's multiple layers. Uh, is this just kind of a, a boot room? Oh, no. Is this to shell them? Yeah, this must be like a shelling station here. Obviously, that's where we can store them. Then we have my crew quarters back here where they get suited up. I can't go in there. I guess no captains allowed. Got my timeout seat for when uh, my... Wait, do I have my employees on the boat? I don't think I put my employees on the boat. I just realized. But yeah, there, there's my timeout seat. We might need to go back and get my employees. I'm so unprepared. Oh, I, I do have my crew on my boat. Okay, well, there we go. Interesting. We only have one person on the dredge. So the crane can use both sides. The The other boat had two cranes. Um, So that's actually really cool. That means I technically don't need as many employees on this boat, but we're going to get them on here anyways. Okay, so I think we moved out a little bit. Actually, no, we are perfect. So we're going to throw autopilot on. Uh, from what I seen, again, I was doing a little bit off recording. Going slower is better. I feel like that was my issue in, in the first episode as I was comparing it to trawling. And I think we just got to go a little bit slower. So we're going to try 4.5 knots and see if that's the sweet spot. We'll throw Thomas on the dredge. There we go. Extend our arms. All right. I couldn't seem to get him to grab the pot. So I'm just grabbing them myself. Just to see how this... Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, I'm glad I'm actually ma manually doing this. So if we drop it, I think we should be good, right? Oh god, I hope I didn't just lose my thing. No, I, th I think we're okay. All right, we can operate the right crane and do the same thing. So we grab... Dude, this is all automated. This is so amazing. I don't even need to see it. It just, it just knows. And we can move the crane out. And then we drop it. Why, why couldn't my employee do this? Why is this so hard? All right, let's see if he can actually do it now. I might just need to manually do that. Sometimes with these new boats, the crew controls are a little glitchy. That or I could be totally doing it wrong. I don't want to blame it on the game. So it looks like he lets out one at a time. Both went down to 25 meters and then the one stopped. I want to see if he'll automatically go to the other one. Or if I got to convert him to the green. Maybe that's what this is about. All right, but yeah, that one's done. So I think I got to, yeah, tell him to do that one now. So, oh, I don't know if I like that. I kind of ha liked having two different crane operators because both would be let out at the same time. This is uh, a little bit different. Oh, that's why we stopped. The weight of the dredge on the ground. That makes sense. All right, so we'll speed it up a bit. All right, and look at that. Right when we landed, my one net pretty much has 60%. So I'll, I'll let that go a little bit more. Where the hell are we right now? Just to see. Still in scallop zone, so it's good to know that this is still a good spot. Oh, that's so great. All right, so we're going to uh, haul in red. So this is cool. I, I understand the controls now. Actually, very easy. For whatever reason, he wouldn't attach the nets at the start. That's all. Um, but yeah, we're going to pull this in as we're hopefully dredging on the other side still. We just got to watch the depth as he's pulling in because we have to flip him back and forth between the green and red. So yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this boat. But honestly... Not a very big deal. All right, here's our first net with a healthy 60% in. Th that's a safe amount. You don't want to go too crazy because I don't know what happens if you break the nets. I don't know if you can break the nets in this. Do I have to get him to do this again? Or is he not going to know how to do this? I'm wondering if I should just control this because, yeah, he doesn't seem to understand how to um, control the cranes. Maybe I'm supposed to do... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do it with him? Problem is I can operate the left crane, but I can't operate the right crane when he's standing here. So he should be doing it like the other boat, but he just doesn't want to do it and I don't get it. All right, so I'm just manually doing it right now. Seems to be a little bit buggy, even in different camera views. I can't use certain controls, but that's okay. I have control of it now. So we just move the crane back and I think that's how we do it. <laughs> Drop it. And there we go. So I grabbed the other side and it poured out. Shooting everywhere. But we did it. <laughs> that was a little bit of a challenge, but that's fine. And then I think we just press E to drop it. It doesn't show that here. Yeah, see, for example, just shows W and S move crane. But now when I'm in this move, in this view, I can actually drop. It's so weird. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do this control. So I'm going to do automatic reel. So it should automatically go all the way to the depth. And yeah we're just gonna have to do this job it's fine i i i, I like having a job and there we go red just landed and it's catching what 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 did i what is wrong with green <laughs> look at this we just rolled over them again 
Uh, I think I'll just keep it out. 40% isn't that much. Oh, crap. Okay, yep. You know what? We should probably reel in. All right, there it is. Grab it. So, yeah, we just got to use this view. Move crane. Oh, yeah, this is easy. This is actually so cool. Drop it. Watch out, everybody. I'm a little crazy with my nets. And we just grab it again on the same area, and it should grab the other side, I'm thinking. And there we go. Presents for everybody. Enjoy. That's a full net, baby. Oh, green. Green, you beautiful bastard. You did it. Okay, control. So I have to operate each side. Now we'll reel in. Dude, this is great. This is going really well. This is a good spot. So I went all the way to the edge here. So we know there's sea scallops all along this, this bay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The other one freaking just caught some too. Okay, is this one in yet? No, it isn't. Oh my God. I just let this out. This is a hot spot, man. All right, re reel in. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, we're reeling in both. We got max on both sides. <laughs> yes, this is the zone right here. Keep dropping those scallops down. The freaking red just hit the ground. I didn't even look at it and it was already full. All right, there we go. We'll grab this, throw it over here. Watch your heads, everybody. I'm a, I'm a crazed maniac with this thing. This is great. I don't even need bait. I didn't even think about that. This is just pure profit. And there we go. We got the other one as well. Green's going out. I hope when it hits the ground, we'll get more. This is so much different than the last episode. Dude, I spent hours last episode looking for these damn things. Oh, and I look away for a second and look at that. We're maxed out again. Okay, so I need to... I don't like that. I have to change the operating if I go between the left and right crane. But I don't know if you can break these bags. Nets? Why did I call them bags? Because, <laughs> yeah, we've maxed them out quite a few times now. I'm still dragging it on the bottom and it's not breaking. So I guess that's good to know. You don't really have to you know, focus too much. Again, I, I I will say it again. This is the easiest method of fishing in this game. All right, what the hell do you have against the red net scallops? I literally just dropped the green net again. Bam, 100%. Uh, okay, well, I guess, I guess I can't complain. I, I guess the scallops just like the left-hand side of the boat are technically right because we're going that way. Finally, what the hell is that though? That's not good. Come on, you can do better than that. It's, at least I know it's working. All right, we're unloading the green again. I mean, I might as well just keep the red out there. God damn it, where'd you go, scallops? Come back. Usually it's like zero to 100 real quick. Not with poor red net. All right, throw green again. We'll probably beat red. Oh, mother of God. I, I, I wasn't serious. I thought red would actually do it. What the hell? Why? Why? I, I, I need an explanation. Like, I need a visualization of the bottom of the floor. And why the hell... Is red always being missed? Oh, hi, little boat. How you doing? Well, now it's just a game to see how many green nets I can fill before the red net gets filled. We're on three. <laughs> how many more is there going to be? Thing is, it's not like I'm doing this quickly either. Obviously, I added this down. We do not reel in quickly at all. And for some reason, red just can't seem to catch the poor scallops. Are, are you serious? I, I look away every time I look away. I it just landed. I mean, I can't complain. Clearly, the green net just freaking loves to catch this stuff. This is four, right? I, I, I've lost track at this point. Holy Jesus. If only the red net was doing this good, we, we'd actually fill this boat. How are we actually doing? A little update. 57,000 pounds in the boat. Don't think we're going to fill this thing. This can hold a lot of scallops, and I'm worried. I don't know how long they last. But honestly, we haven't been out here for two. We've been out here for five hours. Put that into perspective. In the last episode, I spent four days on the water looking for, what did I get? 15,000 pounds total? It's going up. It's doing it. It's actually doing it. Ha ha. Keep, keep freaking going. What the hell is wrong with the green net? Are you serious? Dro drop this one quick. Oh, would you look at that? Green's filled again. Oh my God. I'm so surprised. Freaking stupid red can't do anything right. I noticed something though that filled the moment I turned and it filled up right away. So I'm wondering, let's try something here. I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. I'm feeling like the turning for whatever reason, the game seems to really like. So we'll try something like that just to see if we can help pour, <laughs> pour red out, which is weird because in the tutorial, it said go in a straight line. But every time I hit a turn, red's just like, yep, time to catch those scallops. Oh. Oh, the zigzag worked. Oh my God. What was that? Five or six between the red and blue. 
I am so freaking happy with that. I just dropped out green again. We're still doing the zigzag pattern. And for whatever reason, the game likes that. And there we go. Red is catching once again. Finally, both nets are catching. I just let out green again. This feels better, you know? Constant fish on the boat, still letting out green, haven't even made it to the bottom yet, and red's being pulled up. Okay, maybe we actually can get over. I was hoping to get 100,000 pounds. What are we at now? 87, oh yeah, if we get two more probably, we should be good. That being said, the pound difference between each catch is actually quite insane. Obviously, we need to get rid of all the small ones. If we go to the logbook here, like yeah, 8,756, that was an amazing one. Most seem to be about 5,000, a nice 10,000 one. So yeah, they're kind of all over the place. But yeah, I don't know if the nets on this boat are bigger, but you can see 15 days ago, this is my old boats. Uh, we didn't even get anywhere near even our smallest nets on this boat. So maybe the nets are bigger on this boat. Regardless, we're pulling in a lot of fish right now. This is going to be a good payday. I'm very excited to get back to port and find out how much we earned. Uh, so I think we'll just do the rest of this run. We're almost done. We'll just go right, right, right over this again and then call it a day. Hopefully we can get one or two more nets in. Well, red's been filled up once again. This should hopefully get us over the big 100,000. I did not expect that much scallops today. I gotta be honest, from my first episode, I wasn't looking too forward to this, but clearly this boat can just find them for whatever reason. Uh, we'll keep green out there, see if we can get lucky, but we'll reel this in and probably store it. I think I'm good. We're at 94,536. On average, we've been getting over 5,000 kgs, so we should get over 100,000 here. All right, there we go. The final little bit. Yeah, you get the work, buddy. Can I actually help you? Oh my God, I can. I didn't even know. We're trying to see. Wait, how, how do I actually see if it's good or not? I don't know what I'm doing, sir. We're just gonna put that one in here. Oh no, it's, it's too small. Okay, return to the ocean. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> and there we go. That net had a how much? 11,000 pounds and it's still emptying scallops for whatever reason. Okay, I gotta get back. Um, I gotta figure out how to put this thing away. How the, how the hell do you drop it off though? That's gonna be fun to figure out. Retract beams. I can't until I probably bring in this one. So let's just bring in both and see what happens. All right, other nets in. So I think we just drop it off and and now we should be able to retract beams because there's nothing in this net. So now can I retract? Yes, I can. Okay, they came in. Dude, that's so cool. I've dropped both nets down. I think that's good, right? All right, let's try and get out of here and see if I can fast travel. That, that will tell me if I did it right or not. And prices are all over the place, but Lunenburg has the best price at $22.69. So we'll head over there as quickly as possible and uh, sell this stuff. Okay, the big question is how much did we earn? Mother of God. I honestly didn't expect anywhere near that much. I'm not even using the crew strategy where you force your crew off so you can keep their 367,000. Tempting to do that, but that is insane. For the record, this boat was 9 million. That means three days of fishing and I, I basically pay off this boat. I think it's safe to say scallops are one of the best fishing methods in this game. I'll be honest, a little too easy though. I mean, once once you get to these boats, the first boat's really difficult, but these, but these boats, you really don't have to do much, but hey, if that's the kind of fishing that you like, then uh, then you're gonna earn a lot of money while doing it. So yeah, that was checking out the Viking power, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, really successful fishing run here. Would have been nice to fill the boat, but hey, just with the size of these nets, that would have took forever. And uh, honestly, I, I'm, I'm happy with 100,000 pounds. That's more than enough for me and a nice 3 million plus in the bank. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.